So Will Smith is being called out by Dan Schneider, the famous comedian slash movie star, after what he did to Chris Rock uh, during the, what was it, the Oscars? Yeah. So this is a little bit of an old story, but Dan Snyder saying this is brand new. It just happened. And the way he attacks Will Smith is crazy. Yo. I have never heard anybody talk about Will Smith like this. Besides Chris Rock on the special. <laughs> Chris Rock after the slap? Because uh, he's your mate. Yeah, yeah. I, I would have been straight on the phone if it was my mate getting no, slapped. No, but I was, I was in a sticky situation because I was actually, you know, an elected official of the union at the time. Oh. Will Smith is a twat. Oh, I liked him. He, Will Smith has been hiding the fact of who he really is, and it was exposed that night. That he's really an asshole. But he's a d- deep, d- dark wait. thing. To do that in front of all those people to a really great, legendary comedian who's pr- literally the best comedian of our generation. Sure. You wouldn't have, like, uh, this whole wave of comedy that came after if it wasn't for Chris Rock. He's kicked open the doors. So for him to do that, but I wasn't allowed to say anything at that time because we were part of the committee right. that was supposed to punish him. And how do you punish well, him? Wow, wow, wait, wait. Just back up a second. <laughs> Hang on. I want to know Will what Smith is. is like, for me, when I met him, right, I, I always like say... Like the nicest, yes. most wonderful. He's a yeah. liar. Complete, utter fraud. <laughs> really? It was exposed in that time. Okay, we all thought in that time, oh, he was under all this pressure, though. I didn't. Was some, I it was a I snap. Under- hey, this is a very, 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 very good point that no one, I've never heard anyone say. And he about to kill this whole, oh, he was having pressure, mental yeah. break, kind of like, he about to kill that real quick. <laughs> pressure? Oh, oh, well, Kyle, Kyle's you know been under pressure. You've been under pressure. It's interesting you say that about no, Will. No, no, Will is a, is a douchebag, and that, that's something <laughs> that you can't. The thing is, that's how politically correct the academy is right. that they were so cowardly because if i would have done that they would have been hauled out to prison because like they were so not him pulling his white card worried <laughs> he about being, it. you know racist or whatever they were like we can't be the, the point is violence is what it is and whether who what the color of your skin or the your, you know your religion doesn't sure, matter sure. if you commit a crime in front of other people you get hauled out of there yeah, but didn't you also sort of think oh he's standing up for his missus you didn't like that it doesn't matter you can't hit another dude fact if you're standing up your missus it's a joke and like I, I i also thought it was a very mild joke and it was uh that quite a slap there. though right quite a quite a slap it, i mean it was so much i mean i literally was i forget what it was because i wasn't watching it i was in mexico directing a film mm. and my that uh, sounds sus yeah <laughs> <laughs> my wife wrote it yeah, yeah it's, it's called the more is the more and it's a nice movie actually but the um in spanish in espanol por supuesto and but the thing was i was in a car and my the the uh, but the, my assistant director she looked at me and she said uh, she looked and she said I th- and she said what happened she said um, Chris Rock just got slapped by Will Smith and I said get out of here it didn't happen I didn't make the phone calls and it did happen wow. he didn't want to talk to anybody I don't blame him yeah I get that you know but but also like it took him a while to get to to the point where he could react to it because it was a it was a lot and and this is the thing so. I, I don't know, of course, we don't know Will Smith. We don't know if this is true or not. I've heard some things kind of like that, but I've never heard anybody go this hard on him and talk this way. Mm-hmm. But also it sounded like he was frustrated. And he, he does have a point. If this had not been Will Smith, and I don't know if it was a Will Smith thing or a black thing, and it could have been a little bit of both. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It might have mm-hmm. been because he's Will Smith, but because mm-hmm. he's black. But... I can understand his frustration where if I would have slapped him, I would definitely would have got hauled off the joint in that moment. Oh, yeah. And the excuse of, well, he's defending his wife, cool, you still go to jail for that. Jada don't even like Will, first of all. First of all, she was Let's the one. not, because she was like, oh, I didn't tell Will to do that. I mean, that's what Did I was about to say. It? What? That's what I was about to say. She was the first one to throw money in the bus, <laughs> so you can't pull that card. So fu- forget all that. She said, I was surprised. I don't know what's wrong. She's like, what's wrong with you? So you can't use that one. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Um, like I said, I think it's, I think that, May he may or may not have character issues, but he also had a good point. Like, okay, bro, you did that in front of all the most Ooh. a group of the most famous people on the planet. On the we planet. all got pressure. Everybody here got pressure. Ain't nobody got here by not having some pressure, my nigga. So you don't get to act <laughs> like you know what I'm saying. You don't get to act like because of what you going through, you can slap some people around and damn sure not if your wife turned around and then throw you underneath the bus. So he got a good point. <laughs> I don't know if it was the black card, but I also don't mind it if it was. Can we can we go back though? What? If you watch the video of that, when Chris Rock told that joke, Will Smith laughed and clapped his hands. He looked at her. He laughed, and then when he looked at Jada, the look on her face. So first of all, 
Will thought that shit was funny. At first. So <laughs> let's just be real about it. It was like like he just said, it wasn't that offensive. I don't think it was. And honestly, I didn't think the G.I. Jane uh joke was offensive at all. G.I. Jane was pretty. So I thought Hell he was yeah. saying like she's bald, but like, she's you pretty. Fine. Like but he ain't saying himself. like a ugly bald person. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He right. didn't say crypt keeper. Say she look like a he didn't say you look like a crib keeper, you know what I'm saying? Right. Or, or brainy, or fucking, I don't know. So, like I said, Omega Mind, he hit you with that. So, I think that G.I. Jane was cool. You fucking <laughs> I don't But know. you're right, though. And so, to slap, and, and in, my, in my opinion, of course, no, we don't know these people, but Chris Rock seems like a cool dude. He found a funny end, he took it. So, for Will to go up and embarrass this man and slap him like that, it is a definitely a show of a character flaw. Well, also, we get, well, just to throw some extra context in, because we are <laughs> podcasting, the other context was, I think Will may have had some unresolved issues with him, because remember, he got oh. mad at him for trying to shoot his shot at Jada. I, you know what? Oh. You know what I'm saying? That makes a little sense. Yeah, so. Uh, but yeah, guys, so. I just thought this was funny uh, to see another, someone, another star who's in close proximity, who's worked with and or around him, mm -hmm. who who's probably been in conversations within the industry mm -hmm. to talk about what people really feel like yeah, for him to yeah. deal with him on a regular basis. I don't think he's saying this because this is just how he feels. I feel like he's saying this because of that situation and probably because it's not like he got some little animosity attached to it. It don't sound like it was just about the slap. It sounds like it is him as a person, and yes. this is a bigger conversation that's being had behind closed doors that he's privy to that we are not. So, 